Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we will learn how a student can log into the MindSpark website for the first time and start doing topics. Let's get started. Open the MindSpark website, mindspark.in forward slash login. A login page will appear. The student will first enter the username in this text box and click on Next. Then on the next screen, the student will have to enter the password. Initially, it will be the same as the username. After entering the password, click on Login. On the next page, the student will be prompted to create a new text password. Enter the new password in these two text boxes and click on Next. On the next screen, the student will have to select a secret question and answer to it. This will be helpful in case the student forgets the password. Here, the students will also have to enter their date of birth, then click on Submit. Once this is done, a success message will be prompted on the screen. Click on Log In. This is the student's home page. Here, the student can choose a topic and click on the Start button. On clicking the button, the topic will open. Now read the question carefully and solve it in the notebook. After solving the question, enter the answer in the blank provided. Submit the answer by clicking on the Submit button. Read the explanation provided carefully to understand the solution. If the entered answer is incorrect, go through the solution to find the error. After learning how to solve the question, click on the Next button to move to the next question. Here on the top left side is the topic name. The completion status within each topic shows how many units in the topic have been completed. On clicking the completion status, the name of the current unit appears. On the top, there are dots that represent the different learning objectives in this current unit. A yellow dot denotes the learning objective the student is currently working on. A red dot denotes the learning objective the student was unable to successfully complete. A green dot denotes the learning objective successfully completed by the student. There is also a Sparky count on the right. Sparkies are rewards earned by the students. A student can also send a comment to the MindSpark team by clicking on the Comment button. For reviewing the question later, click on the Star button. Finally, to close the topic, click on the Done button. On clicking the Done button, the session's summary report appears. The report displays the total time spent while solving the topic, total Sparkies earned, and the total number of correct and incorrect attempts. To view the topic trail, click on the View Details button. After reviewing the report, click on the Go to Home button and the home page will appear. Finally, the student should click on the Log Out button to close the MindSpark account. While logging in for the next time, the student will have to enter the new password that was created during the first login. We hope you will now be able to navigate the MindSpark website easily. Thank you.